session. And now the final session for the day. Shri Jay Shah, engineer, BARC, will speak to us about career opportunities in the Department of Atomic Energy. Good afternoon to all of you. The most challenging of engineering and scientific problems come to BARC. BRC is truly a multidisciplinary organization. Let me take the example of a nuclear reactor. To design the fuel, fabricate the fuel, we require metallurgical engineers, chemical engineers. To design the core, we require physics experts. To make the reactor components, we require mechanical engineers. To make the structure of reactor, we require civil engineers. To control the reactor, we require electrical, ele instrumentation, electronics engineers. For grid design, turbine generator, we require electronics engineers. We require biological experts to see the effect of the reactor on the environment. We require geological experts for site selection. So BRC is truly a multidisciplinary organization. When you join BRC, not only you excel in your own field, but you also get a chance to learn about many more fields. Now the mandate of DAE and the deliverables. You can see that nuclear power is at the center. The main aim is to make, uh, to make India achieve its energy sufficiency. Also, we are into advanced technologies, direct research, which gives out many benefits. You have seen Babatron, you have seen Tele-ECG. These are the benefits to society out of direct research in engineering and sciences. National security, Arihant, the nuclear powered submarine, radioisotopes for cure for cancer and cancer treatments. Our centers of excellence. We have center at Mumbai, Kalpakam, Indore, Kolkata, Hyderabad, and NPCIL and Heavy Water Board. These are present across India. BRC Mumbai is the biggest R&D organization in DAE. As you can see, in, at BRC Bombay, we are into research and development of almost all the engineering fields and science fields be it civil engineering, mechanical, electronics, electrical. And in turn, we give out technical solutions for waste management, reprocessing, agriculture, medicine, industry, and so on. So name a field of engineering. You will find some of the experts at BRC Bombay. And it will have an application to either industry, society, or nuclear reactors. Now, how do we recruit people? How do we take scientists? and engineers. We have two schemes. One is the orientation course for engineers and scientists. So after you do your BE or BTEC, you can join. Or after you do your MSc or BSc technology, you can join. So we have centers at Mumbai, Kalpakam, Indore, Hyderabad. So these are the training schools. School is a place a wherein for one year you will undergo training for uh, the field of nuclear energy and we also give you some advanced trainings in your own field. The another scheme is DGFS scheme. After you complete your graduation, you also must apply for GATE and get selected of, at some of the IITs or NIT or Institute of Chemical Technology Mumbai. So you also secure your admission for MTech. You also give interviews for BRC. If you get selected for both, then DAE pays for your tuition fees and stipend. In very few organizations in India, you will find so much support for higher education. So after you complete your MTech from IIT or any of these colleges, you are then given a short training on nuclear energy, and then you are absorbed in uh, DAE. The training school selection process uh, consists of uh, uh, two levels. One is the screening screening examination, and the second one is the interview. So, uh, so uh, for science background, uh, newspapers in the week of uh, last, uh, first week of December will have the advertisement. We normally give a detailed advertisement in the employment news or the Rozgar Samachar. For engineers, uh, it happens in the first week of March. Normally, the interviews are in the month of May to June. 
and our regular course curriculum starts in the month of August. So we have a screening test, we have an interview. So out of this, we select people. So just to give you some example, if there are 8,000 mechanical engineers applying for BARC, we would select 15 to 20 of them. So that is the competition to get into BRC. As good as your IIMs, as good as your NASA. This is the first salary after your completion of your uh, training school. And this amount keeps changing every year. But this is just a rough idea. After you join BRC, your career progresses as you uh, gain more experience. So after two years, you can get promoted to SOD, SOE, scientific officer. SO means scientific officer. And so your career progresses. So SOE is something similar to lieutenant commander in the army. SOF is equivalent to commander in the army. There is also one more scheme of entry into BRC. It is called as KSKRA scheme or Dr. K.S. Krishnan Research Associateship. Suppose you have done your M.Tech and you have two years of experience or you have done your PhD. We do take uh, people based on uh, this entry scheme, around 20 students every year. Depending on the performance, you might be given a permanent employment at BRC. So KSKRA is for the following subjects. Now, once you join BARC, we have a deemed university called as Humi Baba National Institute. So after your BTEC, you join through OCES, you do one year course, then you can do your MTech from Humi Baba National Institute. Further down your career, you can also do your PhD. So BARC is one of the very few organizations where you join as a graduate, you do your post-graduation and then your doctorate. You get so much support for higher education. In the background, you can see this building. That is our uh, training school. This is the advertisement. Now, just in order to you know, uh, make some of you excited, let me give you some examples. What work we actually do at BRC. You have seen that we are coming up with a reactor with temperature of 1000 degrees compact high temperature reactor in one of the morning sessions of presentation. Just think what reactor materials will you use for having good strength at 1000 degrees. That is metallurgical engineering. How do you make a thermal shield around this reactor which is at 1000 degrees? Thermal engineering. How do you control this reactor? Say you have an embedded system. One of the controller fails but the reactor should be fine. No damage is across it. How do we make such an embedded system? Electronics engineering. You have seen uh, underwater weld inspection system. How do you make robots that will go underwater, do welding, or check the status of welding? How, what actuators or motors will you use? These are the challenges which we address at BRC. These are the kind of works. The solutions that we provide are not available across the world or are not given to India. Only such engineering and scientific problems are taken up by BRC and this is how we deliver it. Today's one day session is difficult to deliver all the works of BRC, but the engineering problems, what we do is this. Whatever is not available, is denied, is uh, done at BRC. Thank you. On behalf of Navajna University, I wish to thank all the presenters for very informative presentations. And now, I request our Provost, Professor Abir Malik, to please propose the vote of thanks. Before that, I request Professor Abir Malik to please give away the mementos to the following speakers. Shri P.M. Shah, Chief Project Engineer, NPCIL. Shri R. K. Singh, Head, Media Relations and Public Awareness Section, BARC. <laughs> Shri N. K. Garg, Officer in Charge, SHRI Facility, BARC. <laughs> and
and Shri Jay Shah, Engineer, Bark. This has been a wonderful day and thank you all for coming. It has been a rich session with hearing everyone talk about uh, uh, nuclear energy, nuclear prospects, nuclear future, and its benefits to the society. And I think this has been a very informative session and thank you to all the speakers for really being here and enlightening us with your knowledge about nuclear engineering and science. Uh, I want to thank everyone for being here, and especially uh, Sri R.G. Patel, distinguished scientist at BRC, who really gave the opening speech and informed us about what happens at BRC. I learned a lot in terms of the different things that takes place, and thank you very much. Also to Sri P.M. Shah, Chief Project Engineer at NPCIL, for his wonderful uh, uh, speech about energy and electricity and how it really is uh, generated and how much we can depend on nuclear resource. I also want to thank, to, uh, thank uh, Shri R.K. Singh, Head of Media Relations at BARC, for being here and telling us about the, uh, the, all the things that go on in the center. I also want to thank uh, Shri Naresh Kumar uh, and uh, Shri Pant. Uh, uh, and, uh, and she, I can't read the Jaisha, and uh, uh, who have been here with us uh, this afternoon. She also, G.D. Makwana and she, D.G. Parikh, both for being here from NPCIL and uh, really enriching the uh, time with us here. Uh, thanks to all the schools from Baroda who came here to Navrachna University to be with us and and be a part of this event at Navrachna University. Uh, the BSc faculty at Navrachna University is the one who hosted this and the faculty and the staff of BSc Plus program. And uh, this is uh, uh, their hard work uh, shows. I also want to thank all our student volunteers. They worked tirelessly and they were here for last few days with us and spent a lot of time. And I cannot, and I cannot thank them enough, but who you're not seeing here, and I call them my silent soldiers, they're our housekeeping staff. They've been here all the time. They have done everything for us, and <laughs> immense, immense amount of work that has gone on. Thank you all. Thank you for your time at Navrashna University.